Oh, Lobo Elia Babashi Katalaba. Alia Kataka Telia Babashin de Liababa. Elia Babalaboa Katekiata Malaboa Shiliaba. Lobo Akea Talabo Alia Balabashalabala Balaboshi Katalaba. Jesus, we thank you. Yes, Tuna Kushkuru. Blessed be your holy name. Blessed be your holy name. Thank you for all you have done in the course of the week. Thank you Thank you for the testimony we have. Thank you for answering our prayers. Blessed be your holy name. Somebody shout a louder amen. Somebody shout a louder amen. Ask him to visit you in this Sunday. Tweet your desire, present it to him today. Present it to him today. He have not called the seed of Jacob to Mweleze. seek him in vain. Lift up your voice and pray. Lift up your voice and pray. Somebody lift up your voice and pray. Thank you, Jesus. Sante Yesu. In the name of Jesus Christ. Karigajina la Yesu Christo. Psalm 25, verse 1. Zaburi Shunatano Moja. That word came smuggling in my spirit now that somebody need to pray that prayer. Kunamto Naitaji Kuomba on Bihilo. Say unto thee, O Lord, do I lift up my soul? Samae Buana na Quinulio Nafsiang. Oh my God, I trust in thee. Let me not be ashamed. And let not my enemies triumph over me. Let none that wait on thee be ashamed. Let none that wait upon thee be ashamed. Unto thee, O Lord, do I lift up my soul. Oh my God, I trust in thee. Let no one ask me this year, where is your God? I want you to pray that prayer as it concerns you. Lord, let me not be ashamed. I trust in thee. Let no one ask me this year, where is your God? Lord, you know I serve you. Lord, I lift up my soul. Let none that wait upon you. Let none that wait upon you be ashamed. Let none that wait upon you be ashamed. Let none that wait upon you be ashamed. Let none that serve you be ashamed. Let no one ask them this year we have is your God. Let your hand rest upon everyone. Lord, that wait upon thee. Lift up your voice and pray. Pray that prayer as it concerns you. Oh, 
to thee, O Lord, do I lift up my soul. Oh, let not me be ashamed and let not my enemies. Oh, Lord, we toss in thee. We toss in thee. We toss in thee. We toss in thee. Let me not be ashamed. Let not my enemies be triumph over me. Oh, she had Baba. Thank God, let no one ask me, where is my God? I have waited enough. It is time to do what you have said. I have waited. Jesus is time to do what you have said. Lucia Alabra Oh, break it to Calabali and you are God that said it and do it. Let Bracatolia, Lopret de Kiando Breketusia Cata, Malando Breketo Ketulia Bababando, the Bullian de Cato Brelando Ketua, Lopreketan de Kia Tundelaba. Let me not be ashamed. And let not my enemies triumph over me. Let none that wait upon you be ashamed. Let Brakatushia Kababa, La Brande Ketusha Kaba, Sulian de Ka, Pakian de Breketekia Talaba, Lendelia Baba, Brashulia Baba, Lia Baba Shokia Talaba. Lord, let none that wait upon you be ashamed. Let them be ashamed that transgress with a cause. Show me thy way, O Lord, and teach me thy path. Lead me in thy truth and teach me, for thou art God of my salvation. On thee do I wait all the day. Remember, O Lord, thy tender mercies and thy loving kindness, for they have been ever of old. Remember not the sin of my youth, nor my transgression. According to thy mercy, remember thou me. For thy goodness sake, 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 oh, let no one ask us this year we have is our God in every area of our life. When they will see us, they will know that we serve the living God. Oh, that which you have said concerning us, Lord, let it come to pass. Let it come to pass. Thank you, Jesus. Wave your hand to Jesus and appreciate him. That is why you are called Jehovah. That is why you are called That is why you are called Jehovah, oh, what you say you will do, that is what you will do, hallelujah, that is why you are called Jehovah, that is why, that is why you are called
Thank you, Jesus. Sante Yesu. Whatever God has said concerning you this year, it shall come to pass. No one will ask you this year, Where is your God? When they, will see, when they see you, they will see the hand of God upon your life. When they see you, they will see the hand of God upon your life. And not hearing a louder amen. And not hearing a louder amen. Very soon, Pundetu. you will climb here to share your testimony. Your long awaited testimony. Ule Very soon, Punde. you will climb this altar to share Uta your testimony. Every hanging rewards Kila zilizo before this yapokea. prophetic season is over, Kabla ya majira ya it isha. shall be delivered into your hands. And not hearing a faithful amen. Siski, amen. So shall it be. Lord, send your word again to your people. And let everyone be blessed. In Jesus' name. It is my year of breaking limits. Then what eyes have not seen or ear heard shall be your experience all through the year 2020. Congratulations. Amen and amen. Please be seated. You are welcome again to the presence of God. We thank God for all he has done and all he is about to do in our midst today. We thank God for our various businesses and vocations. Johnny Messies he granted us to him alone be all the glory. Remember we are still in this prophetic season be part of it. It is a season to watch. Engage in praying kingdom advancement prayers as never before. Engage in reaching out to souls and bringing them to church and making sure they are established. Be part of the Saturday General Church Church and let's spread the gospel of liberation. Jesus said to you and I Yesu ametuambia mimi na wewe In Matthew chapter 28 verse 19 Katika Mathayo 28:19 He said go ye Sema inendeni Go ye into the world Inendeni ulimwenguni kote And preach the gospel Na mkaihubiri injili Matthew 28 verse 19 Matayo 28:19 Preach the gospel to every creature Na mkaihubiri injili kwa kila kiumbe Hallelujah Hallelujah. Verse 20. Sorry, Baptizing them, teaching them whatever I've told you because I'm with you. Na kuwafundisha kuyashika yote niliwa muru kwa sabi nipo pamoja nae. Even to the end of the world. Siku zote yata wakamilifu wa dahari. It's a great commission. Ni udumaku. John 15 verse 16. He said you have not chosen me. But I have chosen you. Mali mimi ni mewachagua nini. And I have ordained you. Na ni meweweka. That you should go. Ili muende. You should go. Muende. There must be a going. Lazima kuwe na kuenda. A church does not go without the people on the go. You don't wait for them to come. He said that you should go. Not going to play and come back. He said, go and bring forth food. And your food should abide all men. That's why it is, does not end in bringing them. You must go further to make sure that they remain. Lazima uendelee zaidi kuhakikisha kwamba wana imarika. Wamepandwa kanisani lakini pia wamepandwa katika imani. That whatsoever you shall ask the Father. Na anasema baada ya poichi. Chote mtaka chomu mbaba. In my name and he may give it to you. Kwa jina langu atawapatie. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In John chapter 15 verse 8. Yona kuminatano nani. The Bible say that he our father is glorified. Bibi nasema baba yangu utukuzwa. He having is my father glorified. Hivyo utukuzwa baba yangu. That you bear much fruit. Kwa vile mzahavyo sana. So ye be my disciples. Nanyi mtakuwa wanafunzi wangu. When we bring souls we are glorifying God. Tunapoleta nafsi tunamtukuza mungu. And you can glorify God. Na hawezi ukamtukuza Mungu. And in, not enjoy the glory you desire. Na usifurahie utukufu unaotamani. Souls glorify God. Nafsi zinamtukuza Mungu. Praise the Lord. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Be part of Operation 10 for Christ 2020. Shiriki Operation Nafsi 10 kwa Kristo 2020. September is almost running to an end. Mwezi wa 9 au mwezi Septemba na karibia kwisha. And we have kusha. October and November. Tumebaki na miezi miwili, Oktoba na November. Be part of it. 
shiriki tafadhali in the secret and in open wazi wazi na siri ni shiriki kingdom advancement prayer kiongo maombi ya kuwa ya kingdom making sure you are also praying for them to be established nafsi kanisani ukiziombea dhibitike and don't stop at prayer na usiishie tu kuomba go for that to reach out to them endelea zaidi kuwafikia go for to make sure that you have souls planted this year to there are souls planted in this church this year to your hand endelea zaidi kuhakikisha kwamba nafsi zinapandwa hapa kanisani kupitia wewe somebody shout hallelujah baza hallelujah tomorrow the youth will continue in the at reach in the evening by 5 pm kesho vijana wataendelea na uinjilist jioni saa 11 and on friday the ushering unit na ijumaa kikundi cha wahudumu itakuwa ni zamu yao saa 11 jioni pia kwaya did yesterday 29 of them came 29 kwaya walifanya jana walikuja watu 29 came we took attendance i tulichukua mahudhurio this morning 29 of them na maiangalia asubuhi leo walikuwa 29 be part of it shiriki tafadhali Remember John chapter 4 verse 36. Kumbuka Yohana 4:36. He that repent. Yeye avunae. Receive it wages. Pokea mshahara. And gather the fruit unto life eternal. Na kukusanya matunda kwa uzima wa milele. He that repent receive it wages. Yeye avunae upokea mshahara. This wages comes from God. Huu mshahara unapinga unatoka kwa Mungu kwa kuvuna. Somebody shout hallelujah. Baza hallelujah. You will never be left behind. Hautaocha nyuma. The grace for continuity. Nema ya kudumu those who are part of it nema ya kuendelea wale wao receive it in the name of Jesus Christ and those who are still in different na wale ambao bado who are still look up the grace to be part of it waingia wasiingie receive it in Jesus name pokea neema ya kushiriki and not hear me the louder amen sisi amen we take our teaching this evening tutaendelea somo letu jioni ya leo Godliness is profitable unto all things. Tamko letu la kinabii linasema utaua wafaa kwa mambo yote. And we have been looking at putting up a fight. Na tunaangalia somo linasema kufanya vita against the forces of ungodliness. Dhidi ya nguvu za uovu. Putting up a fight. Kufanya vita against the forces of ungodliness. Dhidi ya nguvu za uovu. This is part 4. Hii ni sehemu ya 4 and our anchor scripture is first timothy chapter 6 and the verse 12 fight a good fight of faith so piga vita vile vizuri vya imani and lay hold on eternal life shika uzima ule wa milele fight a good fight of faith piga vita vile vizuri vya imani first timothy chapter 6 verse 12 timothy wa kwanza 6:12 living a godly life kuishi maisha ya utaua we only be possible by us putting up a fight kunawezekana tu kwa kupiga na vita why is it so kwa nini iko hivyo because godliness is warfare kwa sababu utaua ni vita why is it so kwa nini ni hivyo because the mystery of iniquity kwa sababu siri ya uovu the mystery of iniquity ile siri ya uovu Hallelujah. Hallelujah. According to 2 Thessalonians chapter 2 verse 7. Sasa na fundi kwa pili hivi saba. There is a fight. Kuna vita. There is a fight. Kuna vita. There are controlling spirits that we need to dispossess. Kuna nguvu ambazo zitawalazo ambayo inabidi tuishinde. There are controlling spirits. Kuna nguvu zitawalazo that we need to fight. Ambazo inabidi tupambane nazo. Our gentility will not make them go. Ule upole wetu hawezi kuziondoa. The devil have vowed. Shetani ameapa to take a lot of people with him. Kuwa chukua watu wengi. And he's no reason to achieve that his agenda. Na kuwapeleka kuzimu na hatulii mpaka amekamilisha kazi yake. And that is why he fight our desire and willingness to live a holy life. Ndio maana anapigana na ule uhiari wetu wa uhiari wetu wa kuishi maisha matakatifu. If we don't fight back. Na tusipopigana naye. The devil will try off. Shetani atashinda. We must put up a fight. Lazima tufanye vita. We must put up a fight. Lazima tufanye vita. In Hebrews chapter 12 verse 4 we have not even strive Anasema bado hatujapigana to the shedding of blood. Hata kumwaga damu. We have not even strive to the shedding of blood. Bado hatujafanya vita hata kumwagika damu. There must be a striving against sin. Lazima kuwe na kupambana na dhambi. We must resist and Lazima tuipinge. Because there are forces as na, we have established. Na kwa sababu kuna nguvu. There are things many people do 
Kuna mambo ambayo wengi wanayafanya. They do it because they can't help themselves. Wanafanya kwa sababu hawawezi. They are overpowered by the devil. Hizo nguvu zimewashinda zimewashinda wewe. I we must put up a fight. Ndio maana lazima tufanye vita. Somebody shout hallelujah. Father hallelujah. The devil is aware. Shetani anajua. That godliness is profitable in every realm of life. Kwamba utaua ufaa katika kila eneo la maisha. The devil is aware. Shetani anajua. That the foundation of profitable Christianity is godliness. Kwamba msingi wa Ukristo wenye faida ni utakatifu. Shetani anaelewa. That ungodliness will block the answers of our prayers. Kwamba uovu utazuia majibu ya maombi yetu. Shetani anajua. That our defense is in our godliness. Kwamba ulinzi wetu uko kwenye utakatifu wetu. Biblia inasema many are the afflictions of the righteous Mateso ya wenye haki ni mengi the Lord delivered him from them Lakini Bwana uokoa na hayo yote The Lord delivered him from Psalm 34 Bwana uokoa na hayo yote Zaburi 34 The Lord delivered them from them all Bwana uokoa na hayo mateso yote The devil is aware 34 verse 19 The devil is aware Shetani anajua that our defense lies in our godliness. Kwamba ulinzi wetu uko katika ule utakatifu. He fighting to tunnel. Na anapigana to take that godliness from us. Kuhakikisha na uondoe huo utakatifu kwetu. Let us not sit down crying. Tusikae chini na kulia. We must take the battle to his gate. Lazima tupigane vita. Somebody shout hallelujah. Kaza hallelujah. We must take they say that the be, the the best form of attack that He said the best form of defense is to attack. Anasema silaha kubwa ya ulinzi ni kushambulia. And we have weapons in our disposal. Na tuna silaha ambazo ziko mikononi mwetu. In second Corinthians chapter chapter 10 verse 7 to 5. Corinto 2:5. The Bible says though we walk in the flesh. Maana ingawa tunaenenda kwa mwili. We do not war. We do not war. Hatufanyi vita. Can you give it to me in New Living Translation. Nipe tafsiri nyingine. New Living say we are human. Sisi ni wanadamu. We wage war with human plans and methods. Lakini hatupigeni vita kwa namna ya kibinadamu. That's why the devil cannot defeat us. Ndio maana shetani hawezi kutushinda. We do not wage war with human plans and methods. Hatupigeni vita kwa mipango ya kibinadamu au mbinu za kibinadamu. We use mighty weapons. Lakini tunatumia nguvu za Mungu zilizoku. Not mere worldly weapons. Sio silaha za kawaida. Hallelujah. We can't run away from this fight. Everyone must be involved. Put that scripture for me. He said to knock down the devil's strongholds. Anasema kuangusha siraha. Knock down, knock down. Kuangusha. You don't knock it down by wishing. You need to attack to knock down the devil's strongholds. Lazima ushambulie. With this weapons, kwa silaha hizi, we break down every proud argument. Tunaangusha kila mawazo mabaya. That people from knowing God. Ambayo wanaozuia watu wasijue Mungu. The devil is putting in the world today that makes people to be far away from God. Kuna mambo ambayo shetani ameweka ambayo yanaweka watu wawe mbali na Mungu. We engage this weapons. Tunahusisha hii silaha. He said with this weapons. Tunasema kwa silaha hii, we conquer the rebellious ideas. Tunashinda kila mawazo ya uasi. And we teach them to obey Christ. Na tunayaelekeza ya mtii Kristo. We teach them to obey Christ. And we will punish those who remain disobedient after the rest of you become loyal and obedient. Na tukiwa tayari kupatiliza maasi yote kwa kutii kwenu kutakapotimia. Kuna silaha ambazo tunazo. They are not man made. Asio za kibinadamu. They are mighty weapon of God. Ni silaha zenye nguvu za Mungu. Somebody shout hallelujah. Kaza hallelujah. Why we need these weapons? Kwa nini tunahitaji silaha hizi? It's because We are not fighting human beings. Kwa sababu hatupambani na wanadamu. Ephesians chapter 6 verse 12. Wa Efeso 6:12. For we wrestle not. Maana vita vyetu. Put it also in a new different translation. He said we are not fighting against people made with flesh and blood. Hatupigani na watu ambao wanadamu na nyama. Putting up a fight. That's the topic of this. Kufanya vita ndio somo letu. We are not fighting against people made of flesh and blood na wale watu ambao wanadamu na nyama against evil rulers and authorities of the obscene world lakini dhidi ya fame na mamlaka na wakuu wa giza against those mighty powers of darkness dhidi ya zile nguvu kuu za giza who rule this world ambazo zinatawala ulimwengu against wicked spirit in the heavenly realms dhidi ya majeshi ya pepo mabaya katika ulimwengu wao we are not fighting human beings hatupigani na wanadamu with the half flesh and blood ambao wana mwili na damu or we are fighting invisible enemies tunapigana na maadui ambao haonekani and we need we need na tunahitaji to engage this weapons kutumia silaha hizi somebody shout hallelujah kaza hallelujah 
and not hearing a bigger hallelujah. If you want to live a godly life, which is profitable, it don't change. You must put up a fight. You must put up a fight. Don't be tired that I've been praying for this and still doing it. Don't be tired. I've given up this, but it's still coming back again. Don't be tired. Because the devil you are fighting, he goes through and through. He came to kill. He came to steal. He came to destroy. That's what Jesus said in John chapter 10 verse 10. Mm. He wants to destroy your relationship with your father. Now when you pray, he will not answer. When you call, Ukita. You won't hear his voice. Hato, hato Don't allow the devil to stop you. Somebody shout hallelujah. Aza, hallelujah. And not hearing a bigger hallelujah. Siski, hallelujah. That is why. Doma. A lot of things have been said how to put up this fight. A lot Ma, have been said in the previous witnesses. But today we're looking at that hariya. we must rise up Lazima to take responsibility. Na we must rise up. Lazima Nobody will fight this battle for you. This, this is not the bishop that will fight you for you. It's not the pastor that will fight you for you. It's not your spouse that will fight you for you. It's not your siblings that will fight you for you. You must rise up. Lazima winuke mwenyewe. And take that responsibility. Na kuwajibika. What am I saying? Accepting personal responsibility is what establishes a believer's dignity and victory over sin. Accepting personal responsibility. Many people have worked out of additions. Because they, they accepted personal responsibility and took their destiny in their hand. Na the devil want to destroy their destiny with, destiny with addition. They must stop and say no. This must end. Somebody shout hallelujah. Kaza, hallelujah. The day the prodigal son Siku ile yule came mpoteo. to himself, ali, ali, the, mo, the father was not there. The father was not there. He was kwepo. alone in a strange land. Ni eating ugeni. the food of his wine. Akila the Bible says he came to himself. Asema, said, I will go to my father. Asema, and and I will say to him, Nanitamwambia. Father, I have sinned against you. He, he didn't just say it. Hakusema tu. He was up. Hakainuka. The devil didn't stop him. He returned to the father. Yake. And he was celebrated. Na Where yo. was the devil? When he took off Alivo. to return. Alivo Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Take personal responsibility. The Portugal son could have died there, Rachel. Do you know what it means, human being, to be eating the food of a swine? The person to sickness and never after died. One day, one day, he took responsibility. There was celebration. For that personal responsibility. People of God, we must rise up. And take responsibility. And what must we do? We must accept responsibility by doing the following. Number one. By making no provision for the flesh. By making no provision for the flesh. Romans 13 verse 14. Don't give the flesh allowance. Usiupe mwili na fasi. So do it. Utiishe. He said, put on the Lord Jesus Christ. So, Bali mvaeni kwa na Yesu Christo. Make non provision for the flesh. Wala msi wangalie mwili. To fulfill the laws thereof. Hata kuwasha tamaza ake. Make provision for the flesh. Usi wangalie mwili. Man is a spirit that has a soul and lives in the body. Mwanadamu ni roho ana nafsi na naye mwili and the body is what we call the flesh na mwili ndio tunauita and that is mwili. the greatest enemy of man in na the, mwili in the quest of man to live a godly life the mwanadamu dhidi ya kuishi maisha ya Mungu the flesh is the greatest enemy of man not the devil cha mwili ndio adui wa kwanza mkubwa kwa the flesh is for the things that are against that are that are against the spirit. Mwili uleta mambo ambayo yako kinyume na roho. The flesh want to overcome. You want to overtake. Mwili unataka utawale ushinde. Don't make provision. Usiwangalia, usiupe nafasi mwili. 
The Bible calls it the loss of the flesh. The loss of the eyes. And and the pride of life. These are the activities of the flesh. Make is take personal responsibility. No one will do it for you. Nobody knows you better than you. Nobody Nobody can can put the flesh where it belongs. You are the one that will do it. Take personal responsibility by making no provision for the flesh. Number two, accept responsibility number two by feeling to escape from every trap of ungodliness. Kwa kukimbia. Feel, by feel. That to feel means to run away. Kukimbia. Run away to escape from every trap of ungodliness. Kukimbia ili kuepuka kila mtegu wa wofu. Run away. Kimbia. Hallelujah. Kuepuka kila mtegu wa wofu. I say hallelujah. I say hallelujah. First Timothy chapter 6 verse 11. He said, flee, O oh man of God, O oh that man of God. Flee these things, flee, flee. And follow after righteousness, godliness, faith, love, faith, weakness. Flee. You have personal responsibility to do that. No one will do that for you. But if you must win this battle, Know how to run away from every trap of the devil. You are namne akukimbi akila mitegu ya shetan. First Thessalonians chapter five verse twenty-two. Thorunu kwa kwanza tano ishiri nambi. First Thessalonians chapter five verse twenty-two. Thorunu kwa kwanza tano ishiri nambi. First Thessalonians chapter five we say as they. Thorunu kwa kwanza tano ishiri nambi na sima itengeni. From all appearances of evil. Na ubaya wa kila namna. That word appearances is it looks like it is coming closer. Ascend from it. You, you have the power to do that. No one will do it for you. Rise up Inuka. to take personal responsibility. Somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. First Corinthians chapter 10 verse 14. First Corinthians chapter 10 verse 14. First Corinthians chapter 10 verse 14. The Bible says, We are for my Dearly beloved, flee from idolatry. Flee from idolatry. Flee. Run away from it. Escape from it. You can run away from every one of them. First Corinthians chapter 6, verse 18. First Corinthians chapter 6, verse 18. First Corinthians chapter six verse eighteen. Corinthians chapter six verse eighteen. Corinthians chapter six verse eighteen. Flee fornication. Flee. Ikimbia ni zina. We are looking at that word flee. Run away. Tunangani lo neno ikimbia. There is no sin in this world you cannot run away from. Hakuna dhambi ambayo hawezi kuikimbia. There is ikimbia. no temptation you cannot run away from. Hakuna majaribu ambayo hawe hawezi kuikimbia. Take personal responsibility. Wajibika kibinafs. Somebody shout hallelujah. Haza hallelujah. And not here we need bigger hallelujah. Siski hallelujah. Number three. Number two. Accept responsibility by modifying the deeds of the flesh through the spirit. Modifying the deeds of the flesh through the spirit. Colossians chapter 7 verse 5 to 6. Colossians chapter 7 verse 5 to 6. He said, modify therefore your members which are upon the earth. Inordinate affection. Mambaya, evil conspiracy. Covetousness. Tamani, which is adultery. For which things sake the word of God comment upon the children of disobedience. In which you also walk some time. When you leave the Hallelujah. But now Put, but now ye also put off all this. Like in the malice, blasphemy, beauty communication out of your mouth. Na matusi Lie not one to another. Wongo. Seeing that you have put off the old man, which is this. You have put off there. There what is mortifying the deeds of the flesh. New Living Translation of just verse 10. 
Colossians chapter 7 verse 10. Colossians chapter 7 verse 10. Colossians chapter okay verse 9 verse 9. Sorry what is Verse 9. Sorry what is Colossians Colossians chapter 7 verse 5. Sorry what turn or turn. He said so put to death the sinful and earthly things longing within you have nothing to do with sexual sin, impurity, loss, self, self desire. Don't be greedy for good things of this life. Bali vishini viungo vienu katika vilivo katika nchi wa sherati uchafu tamambaya mawazo mabaya na kutamani ndio ibada ya salamu. To mortify means to crucify the flesh. Kufisha manake kusulubisha mwili. To control the flesh. Kutawala mwili. To make sure that the flesh does not control you. Kwa kisha kwamba hau kutawali wewe. You can tell your appetite no and that's all. Unaweza kuzuia ile kiu ya mwili. You can tell anything no the flesh. Unaweza kuambia mwili hapana. If you must win this battle. Kama unataka ushinde hivi. Apostle Paul say I keep my body on that subjection. Tume Paulo anasema nina utiisha mwili wangu. Unless when I preach all I would not be a cast away. Sije nikiwahubiria wengine lakini mimi nikatupwa. It's a personal responsibility. Ni wajibu wako wewe mwenyewe binafsi. Let's rise up and take personal responsibility. Tuinuke na tuwajibike binafsi. Somebody shout hallelujah. Azza hallelujah. And finally Ya mwisho. How do you take personal responsibility? Unawajibikaje? By putting off ungodly garments. Kwa kuvua vazi la uovu. By putting off. Kwa kuvua ungodly garments. Vazi la uovu. Ephesians chapter 4 verse 22 to 24. Wa Efeso wa Efeso 2. Put off. Kwa kuvua. He said that ye put off concerning the former conversation the old man which is corrupt according to the deceitful lust. Put off and be renewed in the spirit of your mind. Vue kwa habari za mwenendo wa kwanza utu wa zamani unawaridika kwa kuzifuata tamaa zenye kudanganya. And that you put Sarwe on the new man. When you put off the the ones you put on. Na ukivua kuna vazi lingine unavaa. Kavai utu upya. On the new man. Kavai utu mpya. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There are garments. Kuna vazi. When we talk about garments it's not just about physical cloth. Tunapozungumzia vazi sio vazi linaloonekana. Kuna vitu ambavyo vitu ambavyo garment. Kuna vitu ambavyo vitatia na vingine visivyoonekana ambavyo umevikusanya kwa miaka huko. Come to church every time we can put it on. Unakuja kila siku kanisani uivu. We are not the garment. Unaliruhusu hilo vazi. But you can take personal responsibility. Lakini unaweza kuwajibika kibinafsi to put it off. Kulivua. If you go to the house now Kienda nyumbani. I don't think you will need anybody to remove your shirt. Sidhani kama utamhitaji mtu yote akuvue shati au nguo yako. If you are calling or unless the person is indisposed or is sick. Labda kama mtu ni mgonjwa. Everybody takes that responsibility. Kila mmoja ana wajibu wa kuvua nguo zake mwenyewe. Don't take anything. You remove it. Wala kugarimu kitu kutoa shati au kuvua kitu where it belong. Na kuweka pale linapotakiwa. Praise the Lord. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. I say praise the Lord. Sema Bwana Yesu asifiwe. That is where every ungodly garment Hivyo hivyo na kila vazi la uovu linaweza kuvuliwa can be put off linaweza kuvuliwa you can do that unaweza ukafanya hivyo take responsibility wajibika no devil will stop you hakuna shetani atakaye kuzuia somebody shout hallelujah Baza hallelujah I close with this. Ninafunga na hii. It's so easy to dodge the responsibility. Ni rahisi sana kuepuka kuwajibika. Let me say this to you. Lakini ngoja nikwambie hii. You can dodge the responsibility. Unaweza ukakimbia majukumu of living holy today. Ya kuishi maisha matakatifu leo. But you cannot dodge the consequences of your irresponsibility today. Lakini hauwezi kuepuka gharama za kutowajibika kwako kesho. You cannot dodge the the consequences the repercussion of your irresponsibility hauwezi kuepuka yale madhara ya kuto kutowajibika rise up nuka and take responsibility na uwajibike and you will win this war na utashinda vita hii somebody say amen as amen stand up on your feet simama kwa miguu yako lord i receive grace bwana napokea neema i receive grace to take responsibility i receive grace pokea neema i receive grace lift up your voice i receive grace yako inoa sauti yako oh makita shikatu la brando kalubali shala is somebody pray lord i receive grace kuna mtu anaomba anapokea neema lebrando brekete shakita brashule ba mlimba leanda kiatobe lando brekete kale ya baba o breketunda la brakate shulianda katedi ya balaba likote lo brakata leba bali ya baba everyone pray in the holy spirit kila mmoja omba katika roho
Yeah, He's the one that will help us over and yeah, take there, responsibility. Pray in the Holy Ghost. Let them walk with a foot. Pray in the Holy Ghost. Pray in the Holy Ghost. Let them walk with a foot. Pray in the Holy Ghost. 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 Meliando Belambo Alando Nando Nando Katushi Kato Bali Shakia Lebo Alia Balabo Asholia Babalando Breke Toka Lika Tuba Bakato Bali Sheketo Balakita Keto Lando Mekinde Lande Kita Kabashu Belande Bali Shakiata Lebo Akateketo Kateke Toka Labo Akitolia Shuande Kete Keta Katalaba Makote Brasheketo Bali Shakia Leanda kateke tu la buanda la bua kato balia Mbakute lando breke tu shaka bali Indole bua kia tu Ibalia balambo alia shoke tu Walando alia boshe ketali aba Lord we ask for your help Lord breli ababa We ask for your help For it is not of him that we let Not of him that one bet of God that should have mercy We ask for your help Jesus Thank you Jesus Thank you Jesus Somebody bless, shout a louder, amen. You can't put up a fight and defeat the devil if you are still in the kingdom of darkness. You need to be out of there in order to fight any forces of darkness. And to be out of there is to receive Jesus as your Lord and personal Savior. If you are not born again, be born again now. Because that is the foundation of righteousness. If you are not born again, the Bible says you cannot see. You cannot see. And if you cannot see, you cannot assess the things of the kingdom. You are here under the sound of my voice. Even in the viewing centers, you are here you know where you are not born yetu, again. Or maybe you have been born again. But challenges of life came. The devil brought the fight to your doorstep. And you couldn't withstand the devil. Maybe because of ignorance. Maybe because of the littleness of your strength. Jesus wants to restore you. And you will never be defeated anymore. Wherever you are, the ones I can see, there are the ones I cannot see. Maybe you are watching through the Facebook live. You fall into these two categories. Put your hand in your chest. Let me pray for you. And if you have done that, wherever you are, pray this prayer after me. Say Lord Jesus I come to you this evening Forgive me my sins Wash me by your blood I know you died for me And on the third day You rose again That I might be saved Today I declare your lordship over my life. Come and take your place in my life. I declare today. I am now born again. Jesus. Yes. Come and take your place in my life. Thank you for saving my soul. In Jesus' name. If you pray that prayer, come forward here. Let me pray for you. Take a step and come. Let me pray for you. In our very center, they will minister to you there. You know, you pray that prayer, come. Let me pray for you. Can you come forward? Let me pray for you. Your life will never remember the same. God bless you. Lord, for everyone that prayed this prayer, wherever they are, they can see. I saw, I saw one that put his hand on the chest and prayed the prayer. Come forward. Let's put his hand on the chest and pray the prayer. Come forward. Let's put his hand on the chest and pray the prayer. Let the grace that saved them be with them. I cover them with the blood of Jesus Christ. And let them remain covered. In Jesus name. Somebody shout a louder amen. Please stretch out your hand toward the communion. The blood of Jesus sanctifies. The blood of Jesus purchases our conscience. To serve the living God. The blood of Jesus heals. The blood of Jesus cleanses. 
I want you to understand the blood of Jesus is a stronghold. The Bible says, as for thee also by the blood of everlasting covenant. I have set for the prisoners out of the pit. Wherein there is no water. Turn ye to the stronghold. You prisoners of hope, even today. Do I declare we render double unto you? The blood is our stronghold. Revelation 12, 11 says we overcame by the blood of the Lamb. And that blood is in part of this communion today. Every stronghold of the devil, every addition be destroyed by the power of the blood and the flesh. Every form of habit that is a weight, Jesus, that weight is put off today. Lord, every sickness and every infirmity, Lord, let it be destroyed today in the name of Jesus Christ. Whatever my heavenly Father have not planted, let them be rooted out. 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 Lord, deliver someone today from addition to smoking deliver someone today from addition to Lord to drinking Lord every form of addition deliver someone by the communion today in the name of Jesus Christ let the desires of your people be granted let the desires of your people be granted let the desires of your people be granted thank you Jesus it is blessed it is not the flesh and the blood of Jesus and Jesus, yes, as we have prayed, let this communion sanctify. Let him cleanse. Let him, Lord, destroy every forces of darkness. Controlling spirit. The mystery of iniquity. Let them be humiliated by the blood. Let the healing of your people be established. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Sing by your blood. You quash principalities. Oh Jesus, by your blood you destroy prosperity.
Baba. Thank you, Jesus. Pray in the Holy Ghost now. Pray in the Holy Ghost. Oh, yali kato shaki talaba shandoli aba. Ebo akoshi kato breli shalabo ali indalaba. Boshi kato brelende li kata bala shuli balaba. Thank you, Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ. Somebody bless, shout a louder, Amen. Amen.